Hey again, so this is part two for a Temple Jumpfront X uh, developer diary converting the iPhone Unity project into an Android project and then deploying that Android project and publishing it online uh, through the Amazon App Store and some other app stores as well. So, uh, so the next part basically is we're, we're trying to sort out the ads and then also the um, also the uh, uh, the problem that when you click on more games in, in, inside of the game after you finish a session it it um, it basically crashes so this one the, the AdMob Android banner here this is basically we use AdMob uh, for our advertisements and we're gonna put one down here on the bottom right same same as the iPhone so if I double click on this it'll bring it up so okay so I'm just gonna close this down at the moment just to make this a little bit more easier to read. Too many files open is confusing. Okay. I'm actually going to put this down here, um, this pre-directive statement, because what happens is if I switch the project from uh, iPhone to Android, um, what happens is uh, is sometimes that the iPhone, the, the Unity Android, sorry, I'm going to put, <laughs> I'm trying to think, I've completely lost what I'm, I'm saying, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm putting this statement down here so that if I switch the Unity project into an iPhone project that these two variables will stay and I won't lose my U my AdMob uh, publisher ID um, because what will happen is if I put the statement up here and I switch to iPhone and this will get the, this information will get lost inside the editor that's probably very confusing to somebody who's never ever ever even touched Unity before but um, that's okay. Once I start to do some more basic tutorials, it, it will make more sense. So the next thing is okay. So this is this is all fine. It's ads removed. Ads removed. And I think I already set up previously in version one. I've already set up the position of these ads. So if it's a tablet, so this basically here, this function says where the the banners are going to be created inside of the inside of the screen. So this one here is pretty much my phone, um, the size of it. So this is the X. Okay. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, I need to test this to see really how it's going to look because I don't remember. Um, it should be fine because I remember in version one I already had ads set up, so it's not. It shouldn't be any problem. But we've got to test this. Uh, and what I'm just going to do on my on my Android device here is actually turn on um, turn on the, the proxy settings because here in here in Shanghai it doesn't tend to receive ads very well. Um, so I'm just going to turn that on right now. Okay, so please bear with me. This Android is stupid. It asks me for a password to enter my credentials for the for the VPN the proxy, and then another password for the VPN itself. Where am I? iPod. All I do is click one button and then it connects. There's no password or anything, it's great. So this is just saying China Marfan. I'm Marfan. Means lots of trouble. Okay, well I'll just leave that to connect for a moment. So the, the next thing that we wanted to do is look at this more games, uh, more games button inside of the inside of the, the main game itself. So let's just go to that scene. We'll save this one. And the other thing that we want to do is remove any kind of in-app purchase because for this version of Android. I'm not going to have any in-app purchases on this one. So all I'm going to do is basically comment out this code here. Uh, in fact, what I am going to do is I'm just going to come out, comment out the Android part. So if I come back to the iPhone part later, then it's still going to recognize this. But I'm just going to leave this out for now, uh, the Android portion, because um, I don't have an in-app billing plugin for uh, the Amazon App Store or any of the other app stores apart from the Google Play Market. So, um, uh, OK, 
Okay, sorry, my my VPN is not playing. Doesn't want to play right now. Anyway, we'll sort it out in a moment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is remove the in-app purchases from the game so that it's just a freemium game with some advertisements in it. Uh, and players can play for free. So the, that solved that. The next thing that I need to do is remove the problem about when you tap on more games after a session it crashes. So player tap more, more games button in native pop-up. That's this one here. Uh, okay, so it goes to a tap joy, uh, a tap joy Android uh, offer. Uh, we don't want to do that right now because um, basically I've, I've taken out TapJoy uh, for this version of the game. Uh, TapJoy is like an awful wall, it pops up an awful wall and it shows you different games that you can download. Um, the developer makes some money from this and the player gets to see other games. But they're also incentivized so that the player can actually get some kind of coins in some games or maybe some uh, virtual item like clothes or something like that. So it's pretty cool, but I'm not going to include it in this one. Uh, I'm going to keep this game pretty simple. <sighs> so what I did is I just took out the the TapDroid Android uh, wall code, and what I need to do is replace that so that when you hit more games, it opens up something else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a link to our Temple Run training game, obviously inspired by the official Temple Run game which is available on Android um, on the Android uh, on the Amazon uh, App Store so I've just got to find that so just give me one moment okay so it looks like I actually have an older version of this okay so what I need to do is I just need to get the the links that I had in a different uh, a different build so um, in fact I think the latest one that I actually did would have been the ninja ninja birds X so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go into some other code uh, in another project and copy that code over uh, that saves time a lot of time when when it's or the code is already available in another project so um, where this is, I'd be under scripts, and then I think main menu game. Nope, uh -huh. I'll find this one just shortly. Main menu ga game icons. There we go. And I'm going to open this with a separate uh, editor so that I'm not confusing the two and accidentally saving anything that's in here. I don't want to save or change anything in here. I just want to copy some things. Uh, so uh, let me just go down to the bottom for the um, the link to Temple Run Training on the Amazon App Store. So Android, uh, Amazon.com, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is the one. So if I copy this, and uh, if we're on an Android, then we're going to go to, then we want to open that link basically, and I think I did that wrong. Okay, so get rid of that, delete that, and there we go, paste that in. Um, file save, and then we also want to do that in the main in the main game, so let's just get rid of this for a moment, logo scene, character we don't need, store kit, that's for the iPhone, so we don't need that, and the objects, no, we don't need that, okay. Okay, there we go. So this is if you click on the more games after you've finished a game session, then you will be taken to the Amazon App Store uh, and shown the Temple Run training screen uh, so that you can download it for free. That works well. So the next one, um, in fact, I need to just copy and paste these other ones as well. So let me just go to the top and I'll do it this way. Okay, and these should pretty much all be the same. Um, so we've got Amex, okay, and then Android, basically we want to get that one. Okay, paste that in there. And um, what this does, because Amex isn't actually available on the Amazon App Store yet, it'll just do a search for Amex 
so that once we've uploaded it later, then uh, the player will most likely should should find that as a first result in a search. So next one, accelerate x. Sorry, wrong screen. Android. Yes, that's correct. There is, in fact, an easier way to do this. What I could simply have done is package this one up inside of a inside of a package. What we do is create a package, and then we can load that package into another project. Um, but it's it would cause uh, some changes in within the within the scene. I'd have to resize the icons and then copy over some materials and things. So this is actually a, a faster way to do it. I'm all about speed. Send X. Okay, next one taps up X. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do whilst I'm actually copying this over is I'm going to cut the video short there and I'm going to come back to, I think part three is the next one. So, um, but I'm going to finish this up off camera anyway so that you're not having to watch me just copy and paste things. So, but tune in for the next part, everybody, and I will keep going and hopefully you're learning a lot as we go or just enjoy me watching me develop stuff. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.